Let's get this over with. Hello, zombies. You know, I thought when I thought of this idea that it would be really kind of fun and funny and enjoyable and no, it's not gonna be. Actually, I want this to be over immediately because I've already wasted so much of my life having watched this movie at all and I really desperately want to erase it out of my brain. But first, I must talk about it and turn myself into a thing from the movie because that's what I signed up for and that's what you're getting today. I will be reviewing the worst rated horror movie on IMDb. And let me tell you, it deserves to be there. So, strap in. Oh wait, strap up actually. Oh no, oh god. Sorry Spencer. <laughs> Let's do this right. Katie, you do my hair for the day. Do your worst. It looks pretty. I don't want it to look pretty. It won't. Good. Oh yeah, center parts do me no favors. <laughs> center parts on me are the worst. Thank gosh, I thought I was the only one. No, my hairdresser literally tried to tell me. She was like, no, they look good on everyone. You just don't believe it. And then oh. she did it on me and she was like, I stand corrected. <laughs> I'm supposed to look ugly. You That's do. face bun cute. You do look ugly. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot you told me. I literally was thinking like, why is there no hair on this side? Cause you cut it. It's almost long enough to put somewhere. Looks like ear hair right now. Did you ever, when you were younger, put your hair up and this just put- Oh my God. <laughs> All the time. Why did we do that? Was that Philly chic or was that like a phenomenon? Phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon around the world. Ripley, shut the fluff up. Thank you. What are the plans for the side shave? Excuse me. Oh, I was gonna do something. Ow, ow. Tease it. Like Helga. <laughs> Perfect. Now that my hair looks slightly better than this movie is, let's get into the film. Ah, oh god, I have to use scar wax to get through this too. There's, I, this video could not be worse. Let's just, okay, all right. I had this idea because I noticed the trend going around YouTube that's like, I tried the worst rated hospital on Yelp, or I tried eating at the lowest rated buffet on Yelp. And I also have been thinking about doing little movie reviews whilst I do makeup, and you guys have been wanting that. So I figured I could combine two birds with one stone. That's not the saying. I could murder two birds with... <laughs> I, could <laughs> I could kill two birds with one stone by doing the worst rated type trend and reviewing a horror movie. So, do I need eyebrows where we're going? No, I don't. Oh, I'm about to be so cute. By the way, this video is not sponsored. In fact, they might sue me. We'll see. Speaking of which, all of these opinions are my own opinions. Therefore, don't come for me. You know, you might have a totally different experience and opinion of this movie. However, my first recommendation is to just not watch it. Let me rewind. Now we're in the So I had some standards for the lowest rated horror movie that I would be reviewing. So I chose from a list off IMDb of horror movies that have at least 1,000 votes on the rating. Then once I got there, I eliminated things that were mockbusters. Two really low ones, but that are mockbusters are Aliens vs. Avatars and Jurassic Shark. They're basically mock comedy horror parodies of existing films. Didn't want to do something like that because it's derivative from something else. I wanted to do straight horror, so not sci-fi horror, not horror comedy. Horror, horror, horror. Say that a million times fast. Straight horror, no action. And the lowest rated movie on IMDb that has at least a thousand votes is not a mockumentary from what I can tell. So it's supposed to be serious. It's trying to be its own original movie and is purely listed as horror is the movie 12, 12, 12. Also sometimes listed as evil born. Hmm. <laughs> Where to begin? Let's begin with scar wax. Oh, which also means I need to put these on. Ask questions later. So my makeup might not come out great for this considering I am viewing it through a goggle lens and the goggles are not particularly easy to see through, but I will put in as much effort as the filmmakers put into making this movie. So not a lot. It will at least be as good as this movie. That is where I'm aiming. That is where the bar is. I make no apologies for that based on this horrific freaking film. I'm turning myself into pretty much the star of the movie. Wow, these are already fogging up. Oh no. Put spit in them. Put spit in them? Yeah. Blow through the straw again. Did See, I watch your videos. No, literally rub a little bit of saliva on, on the back of it. Why? That stops it from fogging up. I feel like this is a joke. 
I'm a regular Michael Phelps bitch. And by the way, I am totally qualified to review a movie because I spent four years of my life getting a degree that taught me how to analyze the shit out of films, but didn't really prepare me for anything outside of that. Welcome to film school. Also, I made Peter watch this with me. Cameraman, best friend, you know him. And he is a filmmaker, also qualified. Also, we're humans with opinions, which makes us qualified. So, oh, they're fogging up, your spit trick didn't work. Hi. Let it be known that if the goggles are a horrible fail, it was Peter's idea and I just wanted to use Sclera's, but whatever. Do you have shaving foam? Yes. Can you give her a little? Um, yes, of course. Is that what we've been talking about? <laughs> I really think I should just do what I want to do. No. Stop taking your advice. That's what I think. Yeah. I don't want any of this. That's so, what I want. So. I'm already giving up. It's so easy for you to give up when you want. <laughs> the other video anything. idea? Do you guys want to see a video where I test who knows me better, Katie or Peter? Which Curveball, one? Curveball, you... I'll be sober. Curveball, Katie will be sober. I'm over this. We've done nothing, but I'm over this. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna test one eye out before we get too far ahead of ourselves, cause goggles be thick, y'all. I don't know. I mean, it's a weird looking little thing, but Peter, this will not do. Yeah, that seems problematic. We're starting over. My way. To quote your favorite person, Peter. I did it my way. Why did you not react to my top notch Frank Sinatra reference? Oh no, I, I got it. But it, Katie's choking on sugar back here. So. On sugar? I'm trying to be quiet. Fred, what are you? The big bottle. Oh my god, this is as much of a fail as 12, 12, 12. I need all the scar wax I can get. I can't waste this because someone wasted all of my good scar wax in a former video. Oh, that was great. I ended up on television. That's true. My last video with Katie, where she turns me into who, Katie? Goldblum. Good job. She asked me earlier today, again, who Jeff Goldblum is, and she was not being ironic. But in any case, yeah, that video ended up on national TV. All right, so that trip to Target was a fail. Also, your shaving cream technique doesn't work. It's foggy in there. I'm doing it my way now. I want this video to be over with and it doesn't stop. That's how I felt about the movie the whole time. Should I just abandon this? <laughs> Is there another way around this? Do I just paint the inside of my eyes black and close them when I need to? That might be the easiest way. Maybe I shouldn't suffer any more regarding this film than I already have. We're gonna do what we can. Putting Prosade on my eyebrows not to worry. It shouldn't be too much of an issue, but who knows? I kinda don't care at this point, you know? Oh, that doesn't seem good. What the heck is already going on? Oh, it's picking up scar wax. God damn it. This is a huge fail, guys. Plan B. Guys? Yeah. Oh, by the way, spoilers. I'm hoping that that won't matter if I spoil this film because I genuinely hope none of you ever feel the need to watch it. I hope that you will learn everything you need to learn from my video and your curiosity is satisfied, and you do not waste an hour and 40 minutes of your life. It is genuinely a vile movie. So just, just, just maybe don't. 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 God, I don't even know where to start with this because honestly, like I, it, the amount of things wrong with this film would take me literally probably eight hours to go through, genuinely. Let me synopsize this movie for you because trying to explain the plot of the film is so messy that that alone could be its own video, but I really want to get into the critique of it. This is like the most basic synopsis ever. We got a synopsis right here. The film begins with a baby, Sebastian, being born. After Sebastian viciously murdered the doctors who delivered him, his mother, realizes that there is something seriously wrong with the child. It is later revealed that he is the son of the devil. Is that even revealed? No. That's not even revealed. Rude, Wikipedia. Anyway, I know, it's bullshit. Over the course of the movie, Sebastian brutally murdered mortals. <laughs> Brutally, that's hard to say, brutally murders many people and tragedy strikes many others. Sure. Some dude attempts to steal the baby from Sebastian's birth parents many times and eventually does. He steals Sebastian in order to embrace his evil calling. Police officers attempt to kill this dude, but this dude and his companions use Sebastian to murder them. The movie ends with all the main characters dead and their deaths were associated in some way to Sebastian. Spoiler alert. A plus synopsis. Ah, uh, let's see. So, I'm just gonna start complaining about several things in the movie, I suppose. My first complaint is that literally none of it makes sense. Nothing is done the way that real life things are done. The birth is not done the way that birth is supposed to be done. They just do a C-section operation in the delivery room. They just slice her open. People don't talk the way that people talk. 
I mean, for starters, we see like a naked chick getting sacrificed to Satan in the opening scene. Then we get a shot. I can't even talk about half this movie because it would be instant demonetization. There is a scene of, literally can't even say the word because it probably would get demonetized, bad things happening to the mother that should almost never be in a film, but if it's gonna be in a film, it better be very carefully executed in a very serious movie but it's just thrown in there. It feels like almost everything in that movie is either not planned or they're purely for shock value, bad shock value. I don't even know how to dissect this thing because it's so all over the place. I mean, that's the problem is you kind of need to go like plot point by plot point. Like if you tried to actually be offended by everything it does wrong, it would take you eight hours. You're right. Yeah. It's somehow like offensive in every possible way. Pretty much. There's no redeeming qualities whatsoever. No, that's the hard part is I didn't want to go into this being a super downer because I figured like every movie has some redeeming quality, but there's literally none to this movie. There's none. The acting is bad, which you might expect because that's the first thing that we would probably think of with the lowest rated movie of its genre, but it goes so far beyond just that. We assume some of the crew tried their best. I'm not here to just shit on everyone who worked on the film because some people are literally showing up to light it and they're doing what they can, you know, like I have no hate for that. What I do have hate for is whoever wrote this thing. The writer and director. Is he the writer and director? Yeah. Shocking. Because it is so, God, it's just wrong in every way. Any chance this guy gets to write in a scene where he can rip off a woman's top, he does for no real reason other than to be shocking and gross, I guess. The cinematography, I don't know if the choices were up to the cinematographer or the director, but one of my biggest complaints from more of like a film school perspective is that every other shot is a Dutch tilt angle. <laughs> Let me give you a quick lesson on what a Dutch tilt is. This is a regular shot. This is a Dutch tilt angle. It is used in horror, sometimes, usually sparingly, to denote like uneasiness and to make you feel more anxious. Is it working? Is it working? Because I'm anxious just thinking about how every shot in this movie is pretty much a Dutch tilt. If you have to make every angle an intense angle to evoke fear and tension from your audience, you're doing it wrong. Anyway. First grip. Peter, look at the frame. <laughs> look at where you put me. Look at the monitor, Peter. Look at the monitor, Peter. If your dream is to act, you're not gonna turn down a leading role, most likely. But when it's something like this, it just seems exploitative. I am not one of those people that thinks that some movies are so bad that they're good. I can't really think of an example. There might be one, but for the most part, I'm not a fan of that kind of style. And this movie is made or distributed at least by the same people that made Sharknado, to give you an idea. Their kind of shtick is, it's so bad, it's good. In this case, I think no matter what, it's just bad. They introduce a lot of very serious things and elements into a movie that is laughable often and not in a way that is supposed to be laughable. It's not trying to be bad funny, at least I don't think. And if it is trying to be bad funny, it should not have certain scenes in it that are incredibly heavy for any audience, no matter what kind of movie it is. I'm turning myself into the evil spawn of Satan, demon baby, Sebastian, because throughout the movie, he looks all kinds of fluffed up. And he's basically just a really bad little paper mache puppet <laughs> that people hold on their necks throughout the film and go, ah, 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 my favorite part was people holding the baby on their neck, but the, you could see the baby's mouth clearly. It's and, it's not making contact. and it's not making contact. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's great. It's not. It's not funny, it's sad. The dialogue is insanely awkward. There's a like good cop detective that's too cool in the movie that's always sucking on a lollipop. It's like every bad trope that they could think of, they leaned so heavy into. There's this one scene I, I can't even summarize that made me literally scream. I, 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 I can't sum it up at all because it's straight up demonetization land. Just know it's bad and you should not want to see it, honestly. Um, I know that this nose doesn't look good, but this is pretty much what his nose looks like. I think it might be funnier to show you my reference picture at the end of this because you're going to be watching this thinking, Mikey, that looks so bad. And then I'm going to be like, it's kind of accurate though. <laughs> I'm not far off so far. It's just so bad. A lot of movies are guilty of this, but this one very much so. The movie doesn't rely on the audience learning anything through visual context clues. It wants to explain everything the character is experiencing while not explaining most of the plot and how any of this is happening. So it'll be like a hiker comes across the baby at one point just sitting on the ground. And she's like, oh my God, what? why are you here? Oh my God, you smell so bad. You should have an actor just go, 
and cover their nose. You don't need to say it smells bad. It's an infant. It can't understand you. So that's clearly just for the audience. You guys think The Happening was a bad movie? What? No. This makes The Happening look like a masterpiece. Because in this movie, there's still some happening type stuff going on where when someone is in the presence of the baby, sometimes they get overcome with evil emotion and they kill themselves in creative ways that just don't make any sense, don't look right, are incredibly just ridiculous, are shot horribly, always at a Dutch tail. Or just, just, it's just, it's just, I... <sighs> Oh, so that one girl, the hiker, gets overcome and wants to throw herself off of a cliff. It does not appear as though she's anywhere near a cliff. And yet suddenly it cuts to her falling off a cliff. In the daylight, even though she threw herself off the cliff at nighttime. So that's another thing. They use day for night shots all the time where they're trying to shoot it in a way that it looks like nighttime. Even though they had to shoot it in the day for some kind of scheduling reason, whatever it is. And the color correction on it is so bad that you can just tell like that's very much a day shot. And now it's jarring because it's definitely not the time we just saw or the time of day it cuts back to. That happens several times throughout the movie. There's a part where they literally show her walking down the street and it's day for night. And the next scene she's walking down the same street is the exact same shot, color corrected correctly, it's <laughs> daytime. I repressed that. It's got like a little piggy nose. That's Calvin, not Ripley. Calvin snores Ripley bitches. I don't want to just sound like a negative Nancy. I'm trying really hard to like just not sound like that, but I don't know how not to, honestly. Peter, what was your favorite part of the movie? The ending. Because it was over? Yeah, not the ending, it ending. The ending makes zero sense. The movie makes zero sense. Um, the evil baby ends up killing literally everyone, including all the Satanists, all the cops, all the detectives, all the doctors, the mother, and then in the last shot, you see the mother come back to life, and it ends. We don't know where the baby is. We don't know where he went. We don't know why he's evil. We don't know if he's still evil. I mean, he teleports throughout the movie several times from one person's neck to the next, and they never show how he gets around as an infant, because this happens in the course of like, I think two weeks after his birth. So for all we know, he's in Ohio by now. I'm hoping that they make a 12-12-12-2. You know what one of my favorite parts about 12-12-12 is? It sounds just like a movie that Peter made once. Yes. Called 11-11-11. Yes. Also about a demonic baby born on 11-11-11. No. <laughs> no, sorry. It's a rom-com. Precious. That's it's legally blonde. She wants to get married by 11-11-11. Gets dumped. Has to find a guy to marry her. All right, shameless self-plug. I was talking to Kate. Sure. It's available on Amazon Prime. What if he reviewed his video low-key? Oh, shoot. Next movie review. I review Peter's movie. Is it scary? No, it's a rom-com. Oh, you review the worst rated rom-com. And it's Peter's. Bam. <laughs> Also, in case that's not enough for you, there is a 13, 13, 13, and there's an 11, 11, 11 that is a horror movie. There's a lot of triple digit things. Everyone was obsessed with when the date happened three times for a while. Everyone got married on those days. Everyone had evil Satan children on those days. Whatever, it was a thing. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> I'm just painting the eyes black because this was the original plan for the goggles and that failed. That's not bad, actually. It's about as shitty as the film, so right on par. Trust me, I wish there was any other look in this film that I could have chosen from, but there wasn't. Just this little guy where a ton of blood all over someone's face. I mean, I really went into this just thinking it'll be kind of laughably not good based on acting and, and maybe like the technical aspects of the filming, but it's so far beyond that. The editing is pretty bad. I'm curious if they have a script supervisor listed in the credits because a script supervisor is in charge of me maintaining continuity in a film. So it's their job to make sure that if this can was on the desk in the background, it's still facing the same way, it's consistent, hair is consistent, eye lines, and, and everything lines up the way that it should so that in editing, the film makes sense, you don't notice any big changes, you're following the storyboards and the script, etc. Sometimes I wonder if it had a script for certain scenes. There is no script supervisor on these credits. Shocking. There's a moment where one of the cops is driving this little infant baby to I guess like child protective services and it's one shot of the car going through a very little narrow roadway immediately going the opposite direction so it just 180s and then 180s back in the original direction of the exact same original shot of it so it's just like lazy editing like they only had one shot for things and they just kept reusing it to put together some kind of a narrative that didn't make sense anyway because the car can't be doing these 180 degree turns on this tiny little dirt road and a demon baby's behind her in the backseat choking her. She's pulling a seatbelt off of her neck and then she crashes after a few of those. Stuff like that happens over and over and over and over. 
I will say, the dude that keeps trying to steal the baby, the leader of the satanic cult, he had face tattoos on. His face tattoos were not bad, actually. So there we go, one good thing. There are a lot of times where they try to create tension and suspense by just having things go on far too long, or by using music stings to cue people into jumping when they absolutely shouldn't be. I tend to not like musical stings in horror movies as is because I don't think you should have to tell the audience when to jump with loud noises. Unless it's an organic loud noise, then it makes sense. But this one relies a lot on getting people to jump when there is zero threat and uh, I guess they're just running out of stuff to do. And <sighs> I don't know if you guys know, but I am in the process of writing my first feature length horror movie with Peter, actually. Shout out to Peter. Woot woot. Woot woot. And this movie makes me realize that if they can get a movie made, I can too. <laughs> and this movie, 121212, is just a giant reminder of all the things not to do. Honestly, it's a reminder for any movie. If you're interested in filmmaking, and you wanna know what not to do, just watch this film. Literally, every single thing they do, just do the opposite, and you'll have a pretty good script and a pretty good film. I'm glad I didn't watch this movie. <laughs> you don't do horror movies, do you? She doesn't do any movies. Never, That's once. true. You've never seen a horror movie? Didn't I see Final Destination with you? I don't think so. Who else would I have seen that with? Who else am I friends with? Mm -hmm. I think that someone took me to a Saw movie. <laughs> That sounds like me. But I sat there the whole entire movie with a jacket over my head. I mean, I could see that happening. And was like pouty and was like, I can't believe you don't hear. Hilarious. I know that I took Gabby to Jigsaw and she had her eyes closed pretty much the entire movie. Oh, I couldn't even trust myself to keep my eyes closed. I just put a whole jacket over <laughs> my head. This baby has a very downturned, sad expression. I just want to make sure I nail it. What would you rate it out of 10, Peter? Zero. Zero? Absolutely 100% zero. I think it has a 1.3 on IMDb. It's a 1.8, unfortunately. Oh my god. Again, not encouraging you to watch it. Really, really not encouraging you. But I'm afraid of saying that too many times because I know that half of y'all are the kind of people that are like, she said don't watch it, now I gotta watch it. Don't, just don't. I also say this acknowledging that I like plenty of movies that have really bad elements to them. Like, I don't think that a movie needs to be perfect in all areas to be extremely entertaining and extremely enjoyable, but I can't be said about them all. So this baby is angry, cause you know, the devil and stuff. So I'm just giving him some extra furrowed brow skin. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Time to paint my angry baby mouth. <laughs> this little baby also has some really intense smile lines for someone who A, doesn't smile, B, is a week old. And C is not real. I'm gonna shades a little bit. You guys think I'm nuts, I know. It actually looks like this. I'm not that far off. He's got a wrinklier forehead than this even. Powder your little baby face. Powder your nose. Oh god. <laughs> I just inhaled so much, oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, frick. Oh my god. All right, this doesn't look great, but honestly, neither does my reference picture. So I'm about ready to call it quits and say I'm in my final baby form. Peter, do you think this looks like the baby? Uh, yes. You just need the hoodie. Yeah. I feel like the longer I go on this, the worse it gets. Just like the movie. So we're just gonna stop here. It's done. I guess. I mean, by the way, this is my reference picture. I feel like it's pretty close. Look, that's totally it. You're like lowest rated makeup on YouTube. Or Lo the lowest rated movie. <laughs> <laughs> Lowest rated makeup on YouTube indeed. Fitting. Montage time, babies. I tried really hard on that montage to still find a way to make it creepy. I don't know why the baby looks like this, but it does, okay? Don't tell me this is bad. I know. I didn't design it. Again, I just want to reiterate, I'm not hating on every person who worked on this movie. A job is a job, especially in Hollywood, where it is hard to find freelance work, and I'm not knocking that at all. A lot of these decisions come down to the writer slash director, and these are just my opinions. You might have a completely different opinion. The beautiful thing about movies and art of any kind is that we all take it in differently, and it all 
all means different things to us. So with that said, don't watch this movie. I will feel bad if I led you to it because it might scar you a bit and not in a good way. If you want some good horror movie recommendations, let me know. I can review some of my own favorites. And like I said, there's actually a lot of problems with my own favorite horror movies because it's pretty hard to find a perfect movie, period. But it's those redeeming elements that can make a movie really good, if you have any. But what do I know? I just have a degree in this stuff. Oh, wow, that, that's creepy looking. <laughs> it looks so creepy. This is cracking right off my face, which I'm fine with because this needs to end. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new here or lurking or want more of this, hit subscribe, become a zombie. Like this video if you're not gonna watch this movie. So please like this video. Please, please let me know that you're not gonna seek out this movie. This is not reverse psychology. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Like this video if your love life is falling apart as badly as my makeup is right now. And hit the bell, even though I would give the notification system a lower rating than 12, 12, 12. See you zombies next week. Bye. Yeah.